Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I have an unboxing, a Reggie Deej Diamond Painting unboxing, and it's not China Mail. It may have been before I got it, but it's not China Mail. So this is actually from company Gemmet. It is a uh, special creation by Helen Reed. So she is an artist that does work for, she does um, specific creations. Uh, hang on. Exclusive creations for Gemmet. Uh, this was all up cost 66.44 in Australian dollars. There was 49.50 for the cost. There was shipping plus there was GST, which is Australian tax. I ordered it. How about this? I'd work out when I ordered it. Ordered it the 14th of May. They do say three to four weeks. It's the 13th of June, so it's just less than a month. Um, one, two, three, four. About four weeks, just over four weeks. Okay, so a bit about the company. Gemmet is in Mandurah, which is uh, Western Australia. I'm just trying to work out the best way to get into it. So this is packaged quite cool because it's actually square box on there. So there we go. And this I had a choice of um, square or round. Um, there was a choice of square or round and I went the 60 1 by 90 1.5 which is the poster size. I can't get my blade under this, which is very unusual for me. This is the way it's taped. Okay, exact on mine. Because I want to take it that way. I want to be able to reuse this box. Bear with me while I'm doing this. So it comes nice and sturdy. But yeah, this was a 61 by 95 and I do believe I ordered it in a round. And just ease this off the top. This does actually go... Oh, cool. Okay, so see in there? There it is there. Rolled. A paper cover. Just get everything else out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two bags of drills. The box is empty. Okay, Gemma, to our valued customers, please note while we endeavour to provide you with good quality, complete diamond paint is not just possible to, it's just not possible to double check every kit for the correct number of packets of drills. We're more than happy to send extra drills should you find that you're missing packets or do not have enough to finish your painting. However, we will only cover the postage free of charge once, so we ask that you check your packets before starting to send us a complete list with five drills. So with these guys, if it is short, um, you can do one request and they will reset, send it to you with free postage. Um, for me, to get it from them is three days, um, which is really good. Nice to get something so quickly. But... Oh, oh, steampunk red <coughs> lady. Okay, so we, we see the inventory. They've actually got, there's one lot of ticks on the ID and one lot of ticks on the bags. One of those is because the company that creates them ticks it off, but I do believe that Gemmet crew, they tick it off too. And you should see the picture of the, um, on my intro, but there she is there. So it's a steam pump lady. Couple of bags of drills, toolkit, straightforward toolkit, tweezers, a very tiny amount of wax, um, standard drill, 
standard green boat frame. I will quickly release the tube. Here we go, I'm going to press the button. It's taped there, taped there, and right there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've um, taken one out of these. So let's just release it that way. I suppose I'll roll it the other way. Bear with me while I do this. It's just going forever and ever and ever. Just unraveling it one way just to loosen it, soften it. It does have two strips of the covering. And as I'm going through, there is, you can see there's no there is no issue with any rivers or anything on the other side of that. But, let's go on that side. Just leave that be and I will go through the drills. Excuse the crinkling. Try and do it as painless as possible. Eat my tube nearly all the way. <laughs> oh, a lot of colours here that I haven't worked with. The reds, I don't do much with reds. Okay, so that's two bags. What do we got here? Right. Instructions, they have... Ten steps to a diamond painting addiction. Uh, so yeah, there's the ten steps. So this, not that it's really zooming and focusing for you. We're going to focus. Anyway, ten steps to an addiction. And that's just rolled away. Just do a count: two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20 16, 18, 30. It looks like about 34 colours. Mm. And 21,323 pens. Oh, it's saying 107 bags. Okay, what I'm going to do is magically sort these into numbers so do this under a time lapse okay I went to my time lapse um, program that records my time lapse nicely and um, he didn't hit record <laughs> so hang on right so what we do have is all the colors are there including the massive big 107 of um, three tens. So everything's there, some really nice colours. Um, not my normal palette, but I actually do like the look of this. So all the colours are there, so I'll do my usual trick. All of these into here so that when I'm ready to kit up, it's all there. Some of my bigger colours I did roll them up. So, next thing is the canvas. I have let it release a little bit. Being rounds, you know, the, the quality rounds that seem to have a just, just about guaranteed round drills of good quality. Um, and it's all generally with rounds, it's all about the canvas. Hang on, I'm just having to 
Let me go for a bit more. Green. Okay. I've adapted my desk to deal with the large diamond panes that I do. Okay, so here we go. So 60 by 90. It does go upright like that. Excuse the back of my hair on my grey hairs. Right. So that's curled over the top end of my desk and the bottom end of my desk. I'm going to do the bottom section first. Where is lifting? Let's just give this a bit of a roll. There we go. Okay, it does have training wheels, and that is the glue that is on that sheet. This is the top sheet. Okay. Just that light in a second. But the canvas is looking pretty good. There's no rivers on it. Hang on, off goes the jumper. My jumper is woolly and I don't want any stuff on there. So that's all right. There we go. So rolling that back that way. That's the bottom half of it. With a striped pants flower here. I think that's a skull. There we go. How's that? That's a skull. Um, change the lighting, it just doesn't like it. Oh, okay, I'm trying to show it to you. But there we go. That's the bottom half of her and we're done hard by metal ruler. Right. Okay. So they go nice and gently, they're not forcing it. And let it roll nice and gently. Oops. Okay, so that's the bottom half. Again, just like this bit. Now these are the bits where still, I've still got sticky tape on them. Up that way. Okay, it's just easier to peel the tape off while it's flat like that. For me anyway, I'd rather peel it off like that than peel it the other way. Okay, now for those of you with the opaque covers, because the, the glue is actually on the blue sheet, on the top sheet, if it's not pressed down enough, when you lift this top cover off, the glue comes with it. And that one's all good. Yeah, I've just discovered I've got the lid on my whole one. Okay. Oh, I've still got tape on this end. She's looking good. I will need to shift that light again. Okay, that's 
relaxed it completely. Okay, there we go. So that's the top half of it. And it's steampunk, sorry, no, it's just punk lady red, 61 by 91 and a half. How cool does that look? Alrighty, and I find I just run my fingers along and let it go back gently and that cover goes right back onto where it is because I'm not fighting it. I'm just letting it fall back to its natural position. Okay, so that's a 60 by 90. Um, from Gemmet, so that's is it going to focus? Gemmet Steampunk Steampunk Lady Re Steampunk Lady Red 61 by 90 from the half. I am going to change the angle so you can see me with it standing up. There's the uh, Thumbnail, can you see her yet? There we go. She's going to look pretty cool. And that one can go in a standard poster frame. So, okay, I was going to try and stand up and show it to you standing up. However, um, for some reason that camera is not wanting to work. It might have something to do with it. I have to jostle. Anyway, so Gemmet 3D Gem Art. Um, and this was a special order and it was a one of the creations by Helen Reed so down below in the down below in the description box I will put links to this one and a link directly to um, Gemmet I couldn't find anywhere on their website whether they ship to anywhere but Australia but if you're in Australia um, no issue getting it and there's a great deal of um, gorgeous art there from um, she's got a range for a wide range of angels fairies um, what's the where is it the geishas, gothic skulls, so, and there's a lot of Australiana, so hopefully um, if you are in the US or um, anywhere in the world, hopefully they will be able to ship to you, um, but their email address I will also put down below and email them that if you're interested in any of this stuff, email them and see if um, they would ship to you because um, their designs are very, very, very different. Um, this, this lady's designs are very different to um, what we normally see. So this is exclusive designs by Helen Reed. So please, I hope you like it. Um, stay tuned for this one to come up. Um, yet again, another big one. Um, I love my big ones. And this one I may be taking with me to Cairns as one of the things I work on while I'm on holidays. So yeah, this one you probably may not actually see me working on until August. So uh, thank you for watching and bye. Okay, I'm coming back to this a day later. Um, I forgot a couple of steps in this uh, steampunk. One of them what happens when you haven't done an unboxing for so long. One of them was to actually <coughs> measure and also to look at the drills, uh, not the drills, to look at the um, canvas itself. But, so I unrolled this yesterday, I'm just going to do a quick look and I've hung this up on my, on my skirt hanger. So what I did was yesterday was I unraveled it. Um, unrolled it, lifted it, and then I've hung it up, and there's still no um, creases in it. And you can, you can just see here on the back there. So, 
what I didn't do yesterday was measure it. Look at that, I've got hair under my hair, it is. So, if I measure it from one side to the other, it's 60.5 centimetres. Let's see if I can put some natural light onto that. That's better. So 60.5, so this is supposed to be a 61. And I'm starting to get used to working with big canvases. <laughs> and this is... Uh, 91 and a half. Which, it is actually smack on 91 and a half. So there we go, there we go. This was my doing yesterday, but it hasn't affected the canvas, it hasn't affected the glue. I'm not going to roll it back any further. So as we say, um, training wheels, I don't mind them. I don't do, I'm not too fussed about it. But, they are very dark circles. Okay. But they are readable symbols and these are all alphabetical 5 U there's a Y X there's a hashtag some of them I might have an issue with in the reds um, for me for my eyesight um, the magnifying glass will come out with the reds. Uh, so if we get a close up of the reds. Are you looking at the threes? It's, it's not until you actually put your drills down that you find that you've got an issue. Hang on, where's my magnifying glasses? Because I use them. Q's, R's, 3's, Z's, uh, I will say that looking at this, yeah the colours are pretty close, but it's not, not like I've got um, E's and F's, you know how we get E's and F's that are close together in words and Two, two, Z and seven are my pet hates as well. So there's seven is white. No, can't see a two. Can I see a Z? Ah, uh, yeah, there's a Z. So, you know, the things that I struggle with is the lettering. And 7 and Z, so different. Um, 82. So what you want to look at, when you're looking at these, you want to look at, um, see like R, you want to try and make sure and look P, so R and P, they're different colours. One thing that I have found with some diamond paintings, their symbols are, well I mean I've got an E and an F in a one, one diamond painting where the, it's a green, both are green. Um, I have 7, Z and 2 are very much a similar colour. Whereas this one looks like it's got it has those numbers and letters, but the colours are different, so yep. it's got nothing to focus on. Is it going to focus on anything? There we go.
Anyway, so there we go. Sorry, I did forget that step. Um, I completed another diamond painting last night. Okay, here I'll turn up bigger. Yeah, I completed another diamond painting last night, which means I can kit this one up um, and get this one ready to take away with me. Um, and because I had an inventory sheet, I will nice easy labels. So thank you, and um, yeah, I'll leave this one there.